Now that our top liner is done, we're going to be curling our lashes and applying mascara. After applying mascara on the lower lashes, I'm going to be using a white liner at the bottom. You can change this out for black liner, just depends on the look you're trying to go for. And we're just going to line all the way across. Also with that medium brown shadow we used before, texture. I'm going to be taking a pencil brush, I'm going to be applying right underneath that white just to give it another pop right there. Now to bring out the lower part of my eyes, I'm going to be using a shade lighter. This is Full Coverage Concealer by Makeup Forever in number 6. I'm just going to put a little dot on each side, a little bit on my nose. It looks silly for a second. Uh, MAC 130. This is a new brush that came out by MAC um, a few months back, but I really like this for under eyes. Um, it really prevents having any of those lines show up underneath. So in a circular motion, I'm just going to go right underneath there and conceal. And as you can see here, I'm almost doing like in a V shape. So we're not going like far out into our face, we're just going to concentrate right up here in, under the eye area. And just to bring a highlight to our nose, we're just going to stay in a pretty much a straight forward <laughs> pattern. Now with a concealer the same color as my skin tone, this is Makeup Forever coverage number eight. I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer around my nose area, on my chin, any blemishes I may have. And we're going to conceal those areas so that that'll prevent that area from turning red. Next up, we're going to be adding a highlight to our face, and this will give an overall glow to our skin. I'm going to be using NARS, the Multiple in Copacabana. It's a soft pink color. Um, any cream, liquid, powder, shimmer, highlighter you have will work just fine. Again, you'll want to stay away from any glitters. And we're just going to be applying a soft line down the nose here, a sweep across our cheekbone. You can do a little highlight over the lip. If you choose to, you can go right over the brow. And with clean hands, we're just going to be brushing that right in there. Next, we're going to be contouring our face. I am going to be using a darker foundation. I'm going to be using my RCMA palette to contour, and I'll be using this color right here. We're going to go right here underneath our cheekbone, right over our temples, right down the side of our nose. your fingers or a brush for this step. I'm going to go ahead back with my foundation brush, that pointed foundation brush. Um, we're just going to blend it really, really well. Alright, so now we're going to set our skin. Now remember, under our eyes we want to use a fine powder. 
I'm going to be going back in with Makeup Forever High Definition and my 224 brush and just go lightly wherever we concealed. that same powder all over your face, but I'm going to be using Ben Nye Banana Powder. I like this color because sometimes the translucent powders can still give me a white sheen over my face and I don't like the way that looks personally, but any face powder of your preference will work just fine. And I'm going to be setting it with a sponge, a circular sponge like this. The reason I do it that way is because I feel like my skin doesn't look as oily when I use a sponge to press setting powder onto my skin. For bronzer, you're going to want to use a matte bronzer. That means no sparkles or shimmers, nothing that's going to be reflecting. <laughs> um, and this is going to enhance the contour that we made on our face. Any blush brush a round flush, fluffy brush will be fine. And we're just going to go right over where we did to contour. Be sure to blend very, very well. Next we're going to be using a soft blush. A soft pink or a nice coral or apricot color like I'm using will look really nice with this look. The color that I'm using is Utterly Game by MAC, and I'm going to be applying that with a small blush brush. I'm also going to be dusting a little bit of that blush into our temple, very lightly. A little bit on our nose, and under the chin as well, and onto the chin as well. That'll just give it a nice, united type of look. This next step is also a very important step you don't want to skip, and that's also filling out our eyebrows. That's going to frame our overall face, and it's a very important step you don't want to miss out on. I'm going to be using MAC Brow Pencils. I'm almost out, but I love these so much. Lingering, I like to use on the inner part of our brow, and I like to finish it off with Spike at the tail. So now we're down to our final step, and that is our lip products. <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. Our lip liner we're using Makeup Forever. This is in 1C. It's a nude color. And to complement that, I'm using Makeup Forever. This is 503, which is also a nude. And any gloss will work over it. Um, this is pretty much transparent. This is Makeup Forever glossy full color and this is a number nine. Alright ladies, so finally this is our completed look, our bridal look. Um, here's a close-up. change any part of the look I used or any of the products I used of course. If you have any questions or if you wanted a recommendation for maybe a dupe of a product that I used in this video, just leave a comment below. Um, if you have any questions at all or if you have any requests, just leave them below. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next tutorial.